must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again.
<laughs> Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Your place is not here. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master.
Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Unfortunately, I have met several murderers during my lifetime. You don't look like them. I can tell you're no cold-blooded killer. You're right, sir. At first, it was just a simple argument between us. But the man had a bad fall. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die... Remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Thank you. 